Is your C drive always full or your PC feels slow, storage is running out and you do not know what to delete? Well, in this video, you will learn how to clean your C drive in Windows 11 with no extra download, no shady software and free of valuable space so your PC run faster. If you are tired of low disk space warning or random freeze, this guide is for you. Let's fix your C drive step by step. And if you're going to follow all the six steps that I will be sharing with you, you will clearly notice the difference. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with step number one, which is deleting the temporary file. For that, let's go here in Windows, type here run, and then click on run command. Now you need to type here TEMP and then click OK. Now simply press Ctrl and A button in your windows, then press shift button and then delete. Then click on yes. Again click on continue. This will delete everything inside. Now you will see this kind of warning which is file in use. Simply select do this for all current items and click on skip. Now again go back to menu button and we're going to again type run, click on it and this time I am going to type percentage temp percentage then click ok again press ctrl and a then shift and delete then delete everything you can see here i am freeing up more than 5 gigabyte of data now again we need to click on do this for all item click on skip now let's again go to windows button type here run and this time you need to type prefetch now again click ok click on continue again select everything press shift and delete click yes now close this close it again now we just completed our step number one and we have freed up around six gigabyte of space now let's talk about step number two which is cleaning up our recycle bin for that we need to click on windows now type recycle bin click on recycle bin now go on the top and click on empty recycle bin now click yes so here also we have freed up a good amount of space now by deleting data from recycle bin we again here you can see have recovered around 50 gigabyte of data i mean it was 335 gigabyte free now it is whopping 385 gigabyte free and we just with total recovery of whopping 60 gigabyte of data now we have freed enough of our data step number three going to improve performance and response of our windows by removing unused apps and features for that again i'm going to click here on windows and then we need to type settings now click on it go to apps click on install apps now go here on the right and short by size large to small so this kind of gives you understanding which app is consuming maximum amount of space in your system now you can look for the app that you do not use quite often for example in my case i found one so i'm gonna remove this app and i would say there could be so many apps that are installed in your pc for example even whatsapp going to consume more than two gigabyte of data so let me remove this one as well so similarly you can uninstall all unnecessary apps that is installed in your system this will not only free up space but also improve your windows response time now let me close this and now let me again press refresh and let's see how much space we have saved so again here we can see from 383 gigabyte to 400 this means that we again saved another 17 gigabyte of data that makes a total saving of 70 gigabyte now let's talk about step number four which is automating the process of deletion of unnecessary files and that we're going to achieve by enabling storage sense for that again let's click here on windows menu button and type setting again now click on setting now go on the left hand side and click on system then look for storage now here make sure you turn on this storage sense once you click on this arrow now here you can further customize it when you want to run storage sense the first option is during low free disk space 
or else you can change it to a certain frequency let's say you would like to run story sense every week every month or even every day you can also define how you want to delete the file that you have downloaded in your download folder you can keep it one day 14 days 30 days and 60 days so let me keep it 60 days you can also run storage sense now so based on your preference you can further customize how you want to run storage sense such that you do not need to do it manually what we did in case of step one so if you enable storage sense you can skip step one from next time onward you can simply set it and forget it now coming to step number five which is a disk cleanup tool for that again let's go down here and click on windows now we need to type disk cleanup now click on it from here you need to select the drive that you would like to clean now here we not only can clean up our c drive but we also have option to clean up other drive as well so let me select c and click ok now after we need to click on clean up system files which will again rerun disk cleanup and actually this is essential because that's how you can delete other files for example the update file that's still left in your system so i'm going to select this option as well and now here we can further select other item or other area what you think you need to delete for example you can also select recycle bin and delivery optimization file as well now i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to click on delete files so in this way guys we further cleaned our c drive especially in this particular case we were able to delete unnecessary windows update residue files also please note that windows disk cleanup may take some time to complete and i'm going to fast forward this process okay so now we are moving toward our last step and if you are an ssd user windows will automatically run settings related to ssds so you do not need to worry about whether this particular step is only applicable for hdd or ssd simply click on your c drive make right click and then go to properties now we need to go to tools tab then you need to select the option which says optimize and defragment drive so i'm gonna click on optimize and for example you are not aware of your media type or your drive type whether it is solid state or hard disk drive here you should be able to see the information about now the next thing here we need to do is we need to click on optimize and there we go so here we can see we have optimized our drive so in case of hard disk drive it's going to run this fragmentation process however when we do this for ssd it is quite fast i would say and it will run trim process that we just saw completed in case of hard disk drive it may take way more times so you may require to wait for a while for the optimization to get completed so i would suggest do it once in a while it is quick and will make sure your SSD or HDD stays in top shape. And in this process, guys, we not only freed about whopping 75 gigabyte of data, but we also uninstalled and used apps making your system perform faster. And on the top of it, we use other tools like disk cleanup and optimize your drive to further keep your hard disk drive or solid drive performance in the top shape. Additionally, we also talked about how we can automate some of process using storage sense. And all this we have done and achieved through zero external third party tools. Now you should see your PC running smoother and your C drive is breathing easy. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please make sure you subscribe to Technoholic for more such tips and tricks. Also, if you have got any feedback or suggestion, please do let us know in comment down below. And let's catch each other in one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.